because we're different, we're in oppositeness, in contradiction, opposition. True peace is impossible unless each of us will rise above his own ego. Therefore, he said that education for peace has to be about how to rise from where to where. Everyone above their own nature. Their own nature being what? Egoistic. Egoistic means that a person sees only his own interest? Yeah. It means that consciously or subconsciously, I think only about my own benefit and I can't rise above it or ignore it. And this is the starting point of every side, in every conflict, and everything. Everyone and everything, still vegetative, animate people in this world, everything. And so education for peace is what? It has to be by inviting the upper force that elevates us above our own nature and gives us the ability to ascend the upper force being what or who in nature in addition to the negative force that controls us there's also a positive force negative being what our ego the desire only to think about ourselves at the expense of others that does not allow peace that too and this leads to struggles because everyone sees only themselves yes so education for peace demands us to bring a different force against it where do you find this force it exists in nature to the extent to which we want to discover reveal it so education for peace is actually it's what it's finding what Education for peace is actually that we do different exercises in order to draw upon ourselves that positive force that's hidden in nature, that's not revealed, because we don't want it. The moment we start wanting it, then it appears.